subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Exam AI 100, Designing, and Implementing an Azure AI Solution. Designing, and Implementing an Azure AI Solution AI 100 exam, is designed for candidates having subject matter expertise, and knowledge in using cognitive services, machine learning, and knowledge mining to architect, and implement Microsoft AI solutions. This exam will help the candidates in becoming, Microsoft Certified, Azure AI Engineer Associate. Knowledge Requirement for the Exam Candidates applying for this exam should have First, knowledge, and experience in designing, and implementing AI apps, and agents that use Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services. Second, knowledge about Azure Bot Service, Azure Cognitive Search, and Data Storage in Azure. Third, ability to suggest solutions that use open source technologies, with understanding the components that make up the Azure AI portfolio, and the available data storage options. Fourth, understanding when a custom API should be developed to meet specific requirements. Now, we will discuss about, learning objectives. Microsoft provides exam objectives, that help the candidates to understand, and know about the concepts before preparation. For AI 100, the Microsoft includes training resources, that provide a learning path to help you during the studying time. However, the basic concepts include. First, analyzing the requirements for solution. Second, designing AI solutions. Third, implementing and monitoring the AI solutions. Learning Path Microsoft provides candidates access to the learning path that helps them to understand the concepts in a step-by-step -step format. However, these learning paths include modules that help candidates to enhance their skills and knowledge in. First, evaluating text with Azure Cognitive Language Services. Second, processing and translating speech with Azure Cognitive Speech Services. Third, creating intelligent bots with the Azure Bot Service. Fourth, processing and classifying images with the Azure Cognitive Vision Service. Exam Format Designing and implementing an Azure AI Solution AI 100 exam consists of 62 questions. To complete the exam, candidates will get 220 minutes. The types of questions that candidates can face in the exam include scenario-based single-answer questions, multiple choice questions, arrange in the correct sequence type questions, drag and drop questions, mark review, drag and drop, etc. However, to pass the exam, a candidate has to score a minimum of 700 or more. To apply for the exam, the examination fee is 165 US dollars including taxes. And candidates can give the exam in English, Japanese, Chinese and Korean languages. Now we will talk about, scheduling exam. Microsoft Azure AI 100 exam measure, s the ability to perform technical tasks for analyzing solution requirements with designing solutions, and integrating AI models into solutions. Candidates planning to take the AI 100 exam, should also have a strong understanding in machine learning, and implementing Microsoft AI solutions. Candidates can schedule their exam with, the Pearson VUE. Course outline for Microsoft AI 100 exam. First, analyze solution requirements, which compromises 25-30% to weightage for this exam. Second, design AI solutions, which compromises 40-45% to weightage for this exam. Third, implement and monitor AI solutions, which compromises 25-30% to weightage for this exam. Let us now discuss about course outline topics in detail. Topic 1, Analyze Solution Requirements. Number 1. Recommending Azure Cognitive Services APIs to meet business requirements. It contains four subtopics which are First, selecting the processing architecture for a solution. Second, choosing the appropriate data processing technologies. Third, selecting the appropriate AI models and services. Fourth, identifying components and technologies required to connect service endpoints identify automation requirements. Number two, mapping security requirements for tools, technologies, and processes. It contains four subtopics which are First, identifying processes and regulations needed to conform to data privacy, protection, and regulatory requirements. Second, identify which users and groups have access to information and interfaces. 
Third, locating appropriate tools for a solution. Fourth, identify auditing requirements. Number three, selecting the software, services, and storage required to support a solution. It contains three subtopics which are First, identifying appropriate services and tools for a solution. Second, locating integration points with other Microsoft services. Third, identify storage required to store logging, bot state data, and Azure Cognitive Services output. Topic 2, Design AI Solutions. Number 1, Designing Solutions that includes one or more pipelines. It contains six subtopics which are First, defining an AI application workflow process. Second, design a strategy for ingesting and egress data. Third, designing the integration point between multiple workflows and pipelines. Fourth, outlining pipelines that use AI apps. Fifth, plotting pipelines that call Azure machine learning models. Sixth, selecting an AI solution that meets cost constraints. Number two, designing solutions that uses cognitive services. It contain one subtopic which is planning solutions that use vision, speech, language, knowledge, search, and anomaly detection APIs. Number three, design solutions that implement the Microsoft Bot Framework. It contains four subtopics which are first, integrating bots and AI solutions. Second, outlining bot services that use language understanding. Third, modeling bots that integrate with channels. Fourth, integrating bots with Azure App Services and Azure Application Insights. Number four, designing the computer infrastructure to support a solution. It contains three subtopics which are first, identifying whether to create a GPU, FPGA, or CPU-based solution. Second, identify if to use a cloud-based, on-premises, or hybrid compute infrastructure. Third, selecting a compute solution that meets cost constraints. Number five, model data governance, compliance, integrity, and security. It contains five subtopics which are first, defining how users and applications will authenticate to AI services. Second, designing a content moderation strategy for data usage within an AI solution. Third, ensuring that data adhere to compliance requirements defined by your organization. Fourth, ensuring appropriate governance of data. Fifth, designing strategies to ensure that the solution meets data privacy regulations and industry standards. Topic 3, Implement and Monitor AI Solutions. Number 1, Implementing an AI Workflow. It contains six subtopics which are First, developing AI pipelines. Second, managing the flow of data through the solution components. Third, implementing data logging processes. Fourth, defining and construct interfaces for custom AI services. Fifth, creating solution endpoints. Sixth, developing streaming solutions. Number two, integrating AI services and solution components. It contains four subtopics which are First, configuring prerequisite components and input datasets to allow the consumption of Azure Cognitive Services APIs. Second, configuring integration with Azure Cognitive Services. Third, configure prerequisite components to allow connectivity to the Microsoft Bot Framework. Fourth, implementing Azure Cognitive Search in a solution. Number three, monitoring and evaluating the AI environment. It contains five subtopics which are First, identifying the differences between KPIs reported metrics and root causes of the differences. Second, locating the differences between expected and actual workflow throughput. Third, maintaining an AI solution for continuous improvement. Fourth, monitoring AI components for availability. Fifth, recommending changes to an AI solution based on performance data. Exam Policies Microsoft provides exam policies to help the candidates to plan and manage a positive outcome. It gives candidates access to all the exam-related details, accompanying the before and after exam procedures. These exam policies are the inclusion of certain rules that need to be followed during the exam time or at testing centers. Now we will discuss about Preparation Guide for Microsoft Azure AI 100 Exam. First, Microsoft Learning Platform. 
The learning resource that will be beneficial during the exam preparation, is the Microsoft Learning Platform. However, make sure to go through the official website of Microsoft. For the AI100 exam, it would be best to first go through the Microsoft official website, to get authentic information about the exam. You can easily locate the AI100 page, where you can just go through all the necessary information about the AI100 exam. Second, Microsoft Docs. After that, you can move on to Microsoft Documentation, where you can easily understand the Microsoft AI solutions, and machine learning concepts. Moreover, you also get to know the different scales of different Azure services. Microsoft Docs consists of modules, that will help you gain a lot of knowledge about AI, and the different services in a sequence. Third, Instructor-Led Training. Microsoft has given an advantage to candidates providing instructor-led training. This training will help students to gain knowledge designing Azure AI solutions, by building customer support chatbot using, artificial intelligence from the Microsoft Azure platform including, language understanding, and pre-built AI functionality in the Azure Cognitive Services. However, this training is designed for cloud solution architects, Azure artificial intelligence designers, and AI developers. Fourth, online study groups. One thing that will be beneficial during the exam preparation time, is to join study groups. As these groups will help you to stay connected with the other people, who are on the same pathway as yours. Moreover, here you can start any discussion about the issue related to the exam, or any query. By doing so, you will get the best possible answer to your query. Fifth, practice tests. This can be a very essential part that can help you, to prepare better for the exam. That is to say, practice tests are important as by assessing yourself with these tests, you will know about your weak, and strong areas. However, by practicing you will be able to improve your answering skills that will result in saving a lot of time. Moreover, the best way to start doing practice tests is after completing one full topic, as this will work as a revision part for you. So, make sure to find the best practice sources. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel. 